What's going on everyone? Josh from Colossus Fitness, your form coach, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do the straight arm pull down. This is a phenomenal movement to isolate the lats. Doesn't matter if you're doing it like I am in the lat pull down area here, or if you're doing it with the straight bar and the cable, as you can see me doing here, the same tips and tricks are gonna apply. Let's waste none of your time and let's teach you how to do this movement. So first and foremost, you're gonna come, you wanna make sure this is above your head level, and our goal here is we're gonna be pulling down from our lats. Common issue people make, and we will jump into the three mistakes right after this, so don't worry, but it's really important you pull from your lats. This can be very hard to visualize, and naturally people love to get those triceps involved, to get those arms bent, so the best way I find to personally combat this nice straight arm so when I'm grabbing I prefer a wider grip and that is why I like doing it with this attachment once again it's totally okay if you do go a little more narrow you're not gonna die play around with this one and the biggest tip I'll give you with this movement is it's really important you feel that isolation in the muscle you're trying to work if not you're gonna get nothing out of this perhaps you came to this video because you're like I don't feel it this feels stupid it feels like a waste of my time so we're gonna go ahead grab this and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make sure our chest is dipped a little bit far forward. If we're back, we can't actually pull into it naturally, putting too much pressure into my spine. So I'm gonna have a strong stance. I'm gonna actually teacup a little bit forward with my hips, push my butt back ever so slightly. I'm gonna pull from those lats. I like the cue of pulling my damp hands down towards the ground. And you can see I'm actually flat palmed. I wouldn't recommend this if you're newer because it's not as safe, but I find it helps me with my cueing. So here I'll actually grab on. Pull down, I'm squeezing, squeezing, squeezing into those lats. And once again, we really wanna control the negative here. Come all the way up, stretch out those lats mentally. We're dragging, dragging, dragging from the laps, pulling down. I'll show you one more rep here. Once again, I don't wanna stop here. I wanna keep going up. Come down with some control, squeeze into those lats. Boom, bada, bing. So some key things here, I'm not using a hero weight. Start really light, focus that contraction. Imagine you're just pulling those hands and elbows down, scraping from that lat, pulling into that lat. You should be able to see me engaging it a little bit here. Now let's get into three common mistakes you're probably doing. All right, mistake number one is sponsored by yours truly. I'm gonna have a shameless plug. Make sure to follow my Instagram here. I'm not saying to do it for me, I'm saying to do it for you. As you can see on the screen, we have phenomenal content over on Instagram. Quick videos, quick reels on how to fix your form, how to get better, fitter, healthier, happier. Make sure to follow here, you won't regret it. Now into number one, the first common mistakes is bringing in those tries. I spoke about it before, and even if it's not super obvious like this and you're doing pull downs, or sorry, push downs, people will naturally kind of sneak them in there and ruin their form. So even you can see the difference here if I go like this and then come in here. By me bending that arm, I'm losing it. You can turn it into a row, you can do some really funky things. And that's why you're better to do that light weight. Even if you play with no weight, you scrape those lats really focus on engaging that muscle. This is what will make this exercise worthwhile to you. So once again, the difference between something like this, I'm gonna feel close to nothing, maybe a little bit of my triceps, and a true pull down, where I'm just pulling that in with control, a little bit forward. This is a world of difference, and really, really, really make that point to be intentional and keep those arms straight. Number two is all about positioning. If we're way too close, I'm not gonna be able to leverage in, it's gonna hit my head kind of self-explanatory. If you're way out here too, you're probably gonna hit the top, you're not gonna be able to actually pull into your lat. So I like to just be maybe a foot out, two feet out from the actual machine. Uh, might even be three, but play around with what feels best. Lean into it, make sure you're at that good angle. Weight's not clanging, I have control. I'm able to complete a full rep, which is pushing all the way down, coming up with control. And once again, we wanna make sure that chest is forward, not that that chest is back. We're not doing anything funky like this. Number three, last but not least, and this is where it gets interesting. Start light, very, very progressively add a little bit of weight here. Watch this. I'm using 75 pounds. I'm gonna do it exactly. I know how to do the good form. Here we go. You can see my form breaking down. You can see those arms getting less straight. You can see me going away from what I just taught you. And that's not for me not trying. This is simply too heavy. Whereas even coming down to 60, which is the way to actually do use for 12, I can still control it, I can still engage. Boom, nice control. It's a big difference here between the two. And that's where you don't wanna be a hero. This movement is so different from things where you can grind through it, you can power row, you can do all these things. This is an isolation movement for the lat. Treat it like that, do slow negatives, take three seconds on the way up, come and hold that squeeze. Get more out of it, develop the lats, 
use this for what it is meant to be. Thank you for learning from me today. Once again, if you want more incredible form videos, make sure to check out my other videos, subscribe to my YouTube, all that good stuff. So thanks for tuning in, peace out.